I think you can argue that the Sphinx is the most recognizable statue anywhere in the world. Never before had anything like this been seen in Egypt. No colossal statue this size, this scale existed. The world's smartest kid has dropped a bombshell. Egypt has suddenly sealed off the Sphinx, sparking a whirlwind of speculation. As experts scramble to deploy cutting-edge technology, the ancient guardian stands resolute, keeping its secrets under lock and key. Rumor has it that something was discovered within that could rewrite history itself. What could be so groundbreaking that it prompted such a drastic response? Stick with us as we delve into what might be hidden beneath that timeless stone gaze. Let's start with the enigma that is Bariska, hailed as the world's smartest kid. Far beyond ordinary childhood interests, Bariska has claimed to have piloted spacecraft on Mars in a past life. His accounts aren't just whimsical fantasies, their detailed narratives about Martian society and technology that seem far beyond what a toddler should know, given his parents had never mentioned anything about space. Bariska's fascination with space isn't just a phase, it's his favorite topic, and experts who've studied him describe him as a highly intelligent introvert, brimming with unconventional knowledge. He's spoken of hidden knowledge within the Great Pyramid of Giza, and hinted at a mysterious mechanism behind the Sphinx's ear. Yet the specifics of this mechanism remain elusive, raising eyebrows and fueling speculation. His extraordinary claims spark a mix of awe and skepticism. How does a young child with no formal education in these complex subjects possess such detailed knowledge? The story pushes us to question whether Bariska's insights are truly spontaneous or if they're shaped by external expectations. Adding another layer of intrigue, Bariska describes Mars as a world ravaged by nuclear conflict. He even speaks of Martians who breathe carbon dioxide and would need special equipment to survive on Earth. Meanwhile, back on Earth, the Great Sphinx of Giza, an iconic limestone statue with a lion's body and a human head, has recently attracted attention due to a newly discovered hole in its head. While this discovery stirs imaginations, it also raises questions. Is this hole a potential entry to hidden rooms, or merely another sensationalized claim aimed at boosting tourism? The Sphinx, originally a symbol of protection in Egyptian law, now primarily serves as a tourist attraction, rather than a source of profound historical insight. Despite extensive scholarly work on the Sphinx, this latest find seems more about marketing Egypt's historical sites than uncovering genuine historical truths. The trend of turning historical exploration into a commercial venture often overshadows the real significance of these ancient wonders. Giovanni Battista Caviglia set out on what is considered the first modern excavation of the Great Sphinx. This ambitious dig like many others that followed, aimed to unlock the secrets of this ancient marvel, yet often left more questions than answers. The Sphinx, carved from solid bedrock, has witnessed the ebb and flow of human history, but keeps its own story tightly sealed. The Sphinx's allure stretches back even before Caviglia's time. In 1798, French painter Vivant Denon visited the site and created a painting that stirred controversy. His artwork featured a man buried up to his neck in sand in front of the Sphinx. Fast forward to the 1920s, when aerial photography brought new revelations. Photos from the sky revealed a large hole on top of the Sphinx's head, just big enough for a person to pass through. This discovery suggested that Denon's painting might have been based on real observations rather than mere imagination. The Sphinx's history is a patchwork of mysteries and gaps, lacking the clear documentation one might hope for. Notably, the Sphinx's head is crafted from a dark, synthetic-like material, distinct from the natural limestone of its body. This suggests that the head might have been altered or replaced long before Western explorers arrived. 
Despite its imposing presence, the Sphinx's head shows far less wear and tear compared to the rest of the statue, hinting at modifications made in antiquity. In the 1930s, media buzzed with excitement over reports of a newly discovered underground city, with newspapers wildly speculating about its significance. This case highlights the fragmented nature of historical investigation, where bursts of excitement often outpace thorough research. The Great Sphinx, with its patchy and inconsistent history, is a prime example of how the past often gets tangled in the present's shifting interests and selective scholarship. In 1987, a team from Waseda University in Tokyo used cutting-edge electromagnetic-sounding radar to delve deeper into the Sphinx. Their groundbreaking 3D scans unveiled an expansive network of hidden spaces and passages beneath the statue, far more extensive than anyone had anticipated. Rather than igniting a wave of excitement or scholarly debate, their findings were met with eerie silence. The images revealed a labyrinth of empty chambers and tunnels, hinting at advanced techniques and purposes that might challenge established historical narratives. Yet, the global archaeological community's reaction was puzzlingly muted. This silence suggests a troubling complacency within academic circles, or perhaps a reluctance to confront the implications of these new discoveries. The hidden tunnels beneath the Sphinx represent more than just an archaeological curiosity. They symbolize how groundbreaking discoveries can be overshadowed by an unwillingness to embrace change. This case highlights a broader issue in research. It underscores how the pursuit of knowledge can stagnate when faced with findings that challenge the status quo, leaving us with missed opportunities and a limited understanding of history. Recently, a team made an intriguing discovery near the Great Sphinx, a hidden tunnel to the south of the statue. This tunnel, about 2.5 meters wide and 3 meters tall, connects two rooms, one significantly smaller than the other. Researchers speculate that this could be part of a larger network of passages extending north, south, and southeast from the Sphinx. Further exploration uncovered several isolated shafts and peculiar spaces beneath and around the Sphinx that don't align with any known tunnel systems. Despite clear visual evidence of these underground features, many experts have dismissed these findings, showing a surprising reluctance to delve deeper. This avoidance raises questions about why there is such hesitation to explore further. The strong visual data should have sparked curiosity and investigation, yet it seems as if there's a fear of what these discoveries might reveal. This hesitation isn't just an academic quirk. It has real consequences for our understanding of history. The lack of enthusiasm for exploring these findings suggests a conservative approach that may stifle significant discoveries. The broader issue here is a tendency within the academic community to shy away from challenging established theories, potentially limiting our grasp of ancient history. That's it for today's exploration of these intriguing findings. What's your take on this mystery? Hit like, drop a comment, and subscribe to dive deeper into more fascinating discoveries.